Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll see how to custom style Shiny Dashboard. Shiny Dashboard itself comes with a nice look and feel, but in case you want to use um, different colors, um, a, a custom style, uh, we can take the help of CSS, which is Cascading Style Sheets, and give uh, a nicer customized look and feel to our dashboard in this example you can see how I've given uh, different background colors in the header here to understand uh, let's say that um, this this part of the header is the logo part and um, it has a um, black background with uh, uh, title where we have defined from the font family also when I mouse hover it changes its color similarly this part which is a toggle button in the header and is responsible to hide and unhide the sidebar I've, I've defined a custom styling where when I mouse hover uh, the color changes to black and the rest of the header, which is uh, we call it as nav bar, um, this is also a different color. On the left hand side, you can see that the sidebar has got a different background color, and so does the uh, different menu items. You can see that the active menu item, which is dashboard one, has got a white background versus others, which has a different background. And also when I mouse over the menu items, it has a brown background. Whatever menu act uh, item is active, it has a white background. So this is just a demo. Um, you can do so many other things um, if you know CSS. But uh, this is a very basic example. And let's go to RStudio and check out the code um, as well as the CSS file. The CSS file should be in the www folder within your working directory. Then the other important thing is we must include the CSS file in uh, dashboard body function. So what we have to say is tags dollar head and then we have to specify the name of the CSS file here in this way. The code here uh, is pretty much uh, uh, very basic. Uh, we have got the um, dashboard page, we've got header, and we've got given a title there. We've got the sidebar, and we've got the three menu items in them. And then in the dashboard body, uh, we, didn't, we don't have uh, the uh, tab pages, but we have just included the CSS file here. And let's go to the CSS file. In the CSS file, the first thing we have def uh, defined or custom style is um, the uh, title, the way uh, the font family should be, uh, the font size and so on. So we say um, dot main header dot logo and then we have defined the font family. And what it does is uh, it, it controls the um, this uh, title or text here. Then we've got the background color of the header, the logo part. We say dot skin blue main, dot main header dot logo. This is nothing but this part. Uh, you see the color is changing. We'll talk about that, but the black part uh, is uh, where I say logo part. Then in the same, uh, if we want to uh, custom style um, the mouse hover thing, we say dot skin blue main header logo hoover. This is where I'm giving it as a, a orange background color. Then the remaining part of the header, um, uh, which is this one, except for uh, toggle button, this we call it as nav bar. We say dot skin blue main header dot nav bar, and we have given the background color 
then we define the sidebar we say dot skin blue dot main sidebar and then we have defined the background color for this this is the color which is defined there Then let's talk about the uh, menu items uh, we have given the background color and the uh, menu item color for the uh, sidebar so we say a dark skin blue main sidebar 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 menu and this is the one where uh, uh, we we say that for the menu item which is active give the background color as white and the menu item color is black so this in this um, um, right now dashboard 3 menu item is active and you can see that the background is white and the menu item is black in color for the rest of the menu items uh, the background is orange and the color is black you can see dashboard 1 and dashboard 2 has got um, orange background and black uh, menu item color and when I mouse over the menu item background color changes to brown and also the menu item color changes to white but, uh, what we see is uh, 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 change in background color to brown and the uh, menu item also changes from black to white then lastly I've got uh, some styling on the sidebar toggle button I'm saying that when I hover it change the background color to black this is this one 